ready to head out tonight after work. Going to be heading up for a long weekend in Mobile, Alabama. I uh, decided to take a couple of days off from work. So we're going to leave today as soon as I get off and uh, have a nice long weekend. But um, we're going up to Mobile to the Battleship Memorial Park, which is home to the USS Alabama and the USS Drum submarine. And both of these vessels were used during World War II. I didn't realize when I had booked the weekend that uh, this Saturday is Armed Forces Day. So we're just going to go up and have a great time. You know, I love uh, history. Uh, we love, um, you know, going and viewing battleships. We did one a few years ago when we were in Hawaii. We did the USS Missouri that's there at Pearl Harbor. And just love the history of, of all of that. And, you know, my dad, who's no longer with us, was um, in World War II. He served in World War II. Uh, mainly, I think, over in France and Italy. And uh, he never did speak a whole lot about the war. But, uh, you know, going and seeing these type of things gives me a little bit of connection to that little bit of part of his life that he really never talked a whole lot about. So we're looking forward to going, uh, touring the uh, USS Alabama, touring the, the submarine and everything else they have there at the um, Battleship Memorial Park. So... Soon as work is over today, we're going to load up the vehicle and head that away. Well, thank the Lord, we made it to Mobile, Alabama. So um, we actually stayed last night in Tallahassee, so didn't have too bad of a drive over this morning, about three and a half hours, and uh, had uh, good weather, so beautiful drive. We got here a little early, so we went out to Dolphin Island to look around, which is about 30 minutes from here. And of course, we got out there and started raining, weather was turning bad, so then we just turned around and come on back here to the hotel. So we're here at the Hampton Inn uh, Suites, in downtown uh, Mobile and we'll be here for a couple of nights and uh, tomorrow we go see the USS Alabama so we're looking forward to it. So we're sitting here in Benville Park which is here in the middle of Mobile. Uh, we have reservations tonight at the Dumbwaiter restaurant which happens to be just right across the street here from the park. So we thought we'd just come out, sit in the park for a little bit. The squirrels are running everywhere, birds are flying. I reckon you can pick up like bags of peanuts somewhere, peanuts, and you can feed the squirrels. So, you know, you've got a bunch of squirrels that are running up to see if you've got food, but it's a beautiful day out here in the park. And uh, we're just waiting for our reservation time to get a little bit closer before we head over to the restaurant. I looked up the restaurant online and it had great reviews. So we figured we'd um, give it a try. So we have a six o'clock uh, reservation. And, but until then, we're just gonna enjoy the park. It's um, beautiful around here. It's right in the middle of downtown. A lot of nice big oak trees and um, beautiful weather right now. So we're just gonna enjoy it. Watch the squirrels before we head over to eat. Here for our appetizer. We have deep fried pimento cheese balls. D 
deep fried pimento cheese balls. Well, they look good. Try one. Let's tell me what you think. Well, it has that, um, what, um, app, some type of apple jelly that's on it or in it. Good? Very good. So I got the two four ounce filet mignons. Kelly, what'd you get? Uh, um, type of chopstick or chop something? Chopstick. Steak. Caramelized onions, looks good. Bon appetit. Well, to top off the meal, we're having some white chocolate bread pudding with vanilla ice cream. Dig in, love. No, that's all you. Well, we had a really great supper. Uh, if you're ever in Mobile, check out the Dumbwaiter restaurant. It's really good food. So we're just gonna walk back to the hotel, call it an evening and uh, we'll see what tomorrow holds. It's Saturday morning, it's a little past eight o'clock. Kelly and I have already went down and had breakfast this morning. Now we're gonna head down and uh, head over to the Battleship Memorial Park. it in and got parked real easy as you can tell well sort of hard to see from here but they got all kind of tents set up over on the other side of the parking lot got big activities today for armed forces day but um we're here to tour what they know what it, they call the mighty a which is the uss alabama didn't realize and I'm surprised but they have an SR-71 Blackbird reconnaissance plane here this is the well, was they no longer fly anymore fastest plane in the world guided tour here of the USS Alabama. So we're going to make our way through the aviation section here, see some of the planes, and then we'll head on out to the ship. I'm not sure, but I think this was a Marine course, what they call it, Corsair. There's a show on TV called uh, Black Sheep. And this is the planes they flew.
There's a Prince Albert can. That's the uh, tobacco my dad used to smoke. He'd roll his own cigarettes or put it in a pipe. Well, wherever they had spare space, they took a bed, didn't they? So 
One thing we can tell you about this ship is that it is very warm in certain spots. I couldn't imagine the temperatures it probably got to when they were out in out at sea at certain areas, maybe South Pacific, I'm not sure, but how hot it must have been in, uh, in here in this ship. So we finished up our tour of the USS Alabama and the USS Drum, the submarine. Uh, really cool. It's just neat to see, you know, those old ships and subs and how they were built and just trying to imagine life on board one of those ships. So we're getting ready to head over, gonna get some lunch. I checked with a colleague of mine who lives not too terribly far from here and uh, asking him about a good seafood restaurant. And he says, go check out Felix Fish Camp Restaurant was the name of it. So we're gonna drive over there. It's only about four minutes from here, get some good seafood. Um, and then we'll see what the afternoon holds. Well, we had a great lunch at the Felix Fish Camp Restaurant, and thanks to my colleague Patrick for recon recommending it to us. Uh, it was a great lunch. So now we're heading over back uh, to Dolphin Island. We got tickets to go to the uh, Alabama Aquarium, which is there. It's raining right now, so hopefully it'll clear up. The rain will pass before too long. But um, we're going to head over to the aquarium and check it out. Down here, the shark and the stingrays.
Well, we're thankful we just made it home. We had a trip of about mm, six and a half hours or so today. Uh, rain for about the first three and a half hours, but it wasn't bad. Still had a safe trip, and we just thank the Lord that we made it home safe. So uh, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And as always, it's our hope that your travels will be safe, that your paths will be lined with the beauty and splendor of God's creation, and that the people we meet along your journey will be blessed and encouraged because of you.